Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Pushpida. Dear class 10 students, do you want to excel in maths? Here I am with you. Let's study the first chapter, real numbers. In this chapter, two important properties of positive integers, namely Euclid's division lemma and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is introduced. Let's explain what is Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's division lemma. Who is Euclid? Euclid is the father of geometry. Then what is lemma? Lemma is a proven statement which can be used to prove another statement. Let's illustrate this lemma using examples. Divide 13 by 3. Here, 13 is the dividend, 3 is the divisor, 4 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. Now we get a relation 13 is equal to 3 into 4 plus 1. Taking A as the dividend, B as the divisor, Q as the quotient and R as the remainder, we get A is equal to BQ plus R. That is dividend equals divisor into quotient plus remainder. Divide 14 by 3 and 15 by 3 and observe the remainders. In all the three divisions, the divisor is 3 and the remainders are 0, 1 or 2. That is, the remainder is either 0 or in between 0 and 3. This means that the remainder must be less than the divisor. That is for each pair of positive integers, we get whole numbers Q and R satisfying the relation A is equal to BQ plus R, 0, less than or equal to R, less than B. A formal statement of this relation gives us a theorem. Theorem. Given positive integers A and B, there exist unique integers Q and R satisfying a is equal to bq plus r, 0, less than or equal to r, less than b. By heart this theorem. Let's see what is Euclid's division algorithm. It is a technique to find the HCF of two positive integers. The basis of this algorithm is Euclid's division lemma. Let's study this algorithm with the help of some questions. Question 1. Find the HCF of 408 and 1032 by using Euclid's division algorithm. To get the HCF, divide the larger number by the smaller number. If the remainder is 0, the divisor will be the HCF. Otherwise, divide the divisor by the remainder. So, obtained. And observe the remainder. Repeat this division till we get a remainder 0. The divisor at this stage is the required HCF. Here in this question, 1032 greater than 408. So, divide 1032 by 408. By Euclid's division lemma, we get 1032 equal 408 into 2 plus 216. Since, the remainder is not equal to 0. Here, divide the divisor by the remainder obtained. Divide 408 by 216. We get 408 equals 216 into 1 plus 192. Here, the remainder is again not equal to 0. Divide 216 by 192. We get 216 is equal to 192 into 1 plus 24. Since R is not equal to 0, again divide 192 by 24. Here we get the remainder 0. That is 192 equals 24 into 8 plus 0. Now the divisor 24 will be the HCF. Hence the HCF of 1032 and 408 equals 24. Let's do the second question. Find the largest number 
that will divide 398 436 and 542 leaving remainders 7 11 and 15 respectively see the question here it is given that on dividing 398 by a number there is a remainder of 7 that means 398 minus 7 is divisible by the required number similarly 436 minus 11 and 542 minus 15 will be divisible by the required number so what, what you have to do here is find the HCF of 391 425 and 527 actually Euclid's division lemma hold for two positive integers but here we have three numbers so select any two numbers and apply Euclid's lemma to get the HCF then find the HCF of the remaining number and the HCF obtained here I would like to find the HCF of 425 and 391 first according to Euclid's division algorithm we get 425 equals 391 into 1 plus 34 391 equals 34 into 11 plus 17 34 equals 17 into 2 plus 0 therefore the HCF of 391 and 425 is 17 after that divide 527 by 17 we get 527 is equal to 17 into 31 plus 0. Now, the HCF of 527 and 17 is 17. So, the HCF of 391, 425 and 527 is 17. Hence, the required number is 17. Now, moving to the third question. Find the HCF of 255 and 867 and express it in the form of 255x plus 867y. To solve this question, first find the HCF of 255 and 867. For, for that, divide 867 by 255. By Euclid's division algorithm, we get 867 is equal to 255 into 3 plus 102. This is taken as equation 1. Now, 255 equals 102 into 2 plus 51, equation 2. And 102 equals 51 into 2 plus 0. Here, the remainder is 0. Therefore, HCF is 51. Now, we have the HCF that is 51. Next, we have to express 51 as 255x plus 867y. See the second equation. There, 51 is the remainder. Rearrange the equation and write as 51 equals 255 minus 102 into 2, which is taken as equation 3. Similarly, from equation 1, we get 102 equals 867 minus 255 into 3. So, insert this result in equation 3, we get 51 equals 255 minus 867 minus 255 into 3, the whole into 2. Now, open the bracket, then we get 51 equals 255 minus 867 into 2 plus 255 into 6 taking the common factor of 255 from first and the last term we get 255 into 1 plus 6 minus 867 into 2 that is equal to 255 into 7 minus 867 into 2 which is equal to 255 into 7 plus 867 into minus 2. 
This can be written as 255x plus 867y where x is equal to 7 and y is equal to minus 2. This is the linear combination of 255 and 867. That's all for today. We'll discuss rest in my next video. Hope you all understand this topic. You can clarify your doubts via the contact information given below. Thank you.